Annyeong, 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 Esha! Annyeong, Annyeong! Hi everyone! How are you guys? How are you? Today we're going to react to your favorite K dramas, which has been popular all over the world. Yes, you can see we're looking very homey here to react to this video. In so our pajamas. You guys are enjoying today's video, okay? So, what are you waiting for? Let's start! Looks so welcoming. Yeah. What's this guy's name? Moon Sangte? Right, Moon Sangte. Sangte, Sangte Oppa. <laughs> you know, he's such a good actor. Yeah. So versatile. That's so natural. Yeah. Hello, <laughs> <laughs> hello. Andersen Dunga Jungye. Algam Budrago Alji. He looks so white in the hospital. This is the OK Psychiatric Hospital where Moon Kang Tae or Kim Soo Hyun starts to work from episode 2 onwards. Yeah, I think this time he has to leave his job as a psychiatric category in Seoul and moves to his seaside hometown with his autistic older brother and a friend. As you can see, the cafe building is at the back. <gasps> Stay out of my life? Oh my Girl. god! She looked like she was going to cry. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's harsh though. That's harsh! Oh my god! This hospital is actually a cafe and bakery called Secret Blue Bakery Cafe. It is located on the hill overlooking the beautiful Ayajin Beach and you're able to spot Soraksan Mountain too. Aww. Look at his face. So Kangte has arrived in front of Komunyong's Curse Castle. You know this kid actually exists? And the door of the castle is actually a filming set built by the production. The rest, everything else is put together with CGI. That's so amazing though. Like it in real life, real. this place is actually just nearby a cafe. And the cafe is called Sanida Cafe. Hmm. Look, his adult stuff is coming back. Memories of him getting rejected. <laughs> <laughs> He's going inside. She's so pretty, looks like a Barbie. That way in effect. Cafe Sanida is a cafe or bakery that sits on top of a mountain but close to the road. It is located in the village of Chusan in Wonju. It makes a popular spot for sunset viewing as the surrounding mountains can be viewed from its rooftop. Wow, wow. That's so long. <laughs> she sounds so sarcastic though. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> I'm going to take some snacks. This 200 meters long bridge is called Sogumsan Suspension Bridge. And it's a, and it's the largest and the longest pedestrian bridge in South Korea. It's just 30 minutes drive from the Cafe Sanida that we mentioned just now. Yo! <laughs> 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 
불러 보든가. 노래? <웃음> 你可以感受到最高的高度和最高的高度在这里。这座村子是最高的高度，这座村子是最高的高度。这座村子是最高的高度。这座村子是最高的高度。这座村子是最高的高度。这座村子是最高的高度。这座村子是最高的高度。这座
Visitors can enjoy a wide array of winter sports including skiing from mid-November to early April. You will find a 45-hole golf course, 28 ski slopes, premium hotels, European-style condominiums, and many other leisure facilities. Also, we would like to recommend you guys to Parang San Skywalk. Once you arrive at the Dragon Peak by cable car, you can take the elevator to the Skywalk. We cannot wait to visit the Skywalk soon and enjoy the breathtaking view with our own eyes. Let me press play. She's going! Yeah, she's going! Let's count. <gasps> wow! Oh my god, look at the view! That's so beautiful. This place is called Pyal Maru, you know. It's a public astronomical observatory in Yongol. Oh! Yeah. I wonder what the term Pyal Maru means though. Well, it's actually a combination of words Pyal, mm -hmm. Maru and also Ru, which mm -hmm. means star, peak and also peaceful. So together, they like it's a wish to view the stars in a clean and also peaceful environment. I see. So it's like a literal meaning of this. You know, she's flying high up in the sky, overlooking the whole peaceful environment. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh my god, so beautiful. She's spinning. <laughs> and I heard the ob and I heard the observatory has a variety of telescopes mm -hmm. and also accommodation facilities. You know, like mm -hmm. audio and visual rooms and also a lecture hall. Ooh. Apart from the paragliding activity, you get to see the starry skies here too. So we have toured Kangwondo through various scenes portrayed in your favourite K-dramas. Yes, we had so much fun exploring and there's actually so many places that you can visit in Kangwondo. You guys should visit those places too, you know? Yeah, make sure to put them all in your bucket list. <laughs> Everything, every information about the places are all in the description down below. Make sure to check! Don't forget to hit the subscribe button below, subscribe to our channel, like and comment which scenes you found interesting. Yeah, so thanks for watching. Bye for now. See you guys next time. Annyeong, annyeong, annyeong. Bye. Bye bye. <laughs>